Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. I hope you all are fine and staying safe and happy. Uh, my dear students, today we will start a new chapter, chapter number three, that is human health. And today I will give you a complete, a complete introduction of this chapter. So my dear students, let's start that what we are going to do in this uh, unit, in this chapter. In the World Health Organization, which is called WHO, words the health is a state of complete physical mental and social well-being so illness can be defined as feeling of being unhealthy in the following chapter we will study symptoms transmission and preventive measures of some diseases along with these we will learn about necessary ways to maintain good health as well so my dear students uh, world health organization ke accordingly aapki jo health hai uh, wo aapki physical or social well-being hoti hai. So, agar if you are ill, that means you are unhealthy. So, is chapter mein hum illness kya hai, uske causes and symptoms kaise hote hai, how we can prevent ourselves from these diseases and germs, we will discuss about that. So, my dear students, when we will start lecture number one, we will discuss and we will, the students will be able to observe and recognize some common symptoms of illness such as fever, coughing and influenza. And the page that will be under reading is page number 40. So then we will move forward towards lecture number 2. And in lecture number 2, the students will be able to differentiate between contagious diseases like hepatitis, TB, influenza and polio and non-contagious like cancer and diabetes. Relate the transmission of common uh, communicable diseases that is touching, sneezing and coughing to human contact. So my dear students, uh, in the second lecture, the page that will be under reading is page number 41. Or is we have uh, different illnesses, so we have read it before. After that, contagious or non-contagious diseases. Aisi bimariyaan joh lag jati hain aur joh nahi lagti hain unke baare mein padhenge. Aur kaise joh hai different germs joh hai wo transmit hoote hain, we will also discuss about that. So, in lecture number three, the students will be able to explain some methods of preventing common diseases and their transmission, for example, vaccination, washing hands and wearing masks. So, my dear students, how we can prevent some diseases, we will discuss about the preventive measures. The page that will be under discussion in lecture number three is page number 42. And then we will move forward towards lecture number four. In lecture number four, the students will be able to describe the importance of maintaining good health and they will be able to recognize everyday behaviors that promote good health like balanced diet, drinking clean water, exercising regularly, brushing teeth, getting enough sleep and they will also be able to define balanced diet and its components. So my dear students, a health ko maintain rakhne ke liye, a healthy lifestyle ko maintain karne rakhne ke liye, aapko kin kin cheezo ki zarurat hoti hai, hum unko discuss karenge. Diet jo hai, wo health ke liye bhoat important hoti hai, so it must be balanced. So what is the balanced diet? We will also discuss that. The page that will be un, uh, uh, that we will read is page number 43. And then in lecture number five, the students will be able to define balanced diet and its components. So, we balanced diet or components jo hai, uske wo unko dekhenge. and the page that will be under discussion is page number 44. Then in lecture number six, the students will be able to define balanced diet and its components. We will different jo balanced diet hai, uske components ko padenge, like carbohydrates, proteins, fats. So, one by one, same SLO follow hoga, components different in her lecture. Mein. So, the page that will be under discussion is page number 45. Then in lecture number seven, the students will be able to identify common food sources included in a balanced diet like fruit, vegetables, grains, milk, meat and uh, meat group. So, your uh, balanced diet or your daily ki jo diet, hai, usme jo food groups added hai, uh, students will be able to identify them and the page that will be uh, under reading is page number 46. In lecture number 8, the students will be able to understand the value of clean drinking water and inquire about the factors that generally make it unclean. So, saaf pani kitna hamari health ke liye zarurat hai aur agar pani saaf nahi hota, to kaise bimariya phelti hain, to koon koon si factors hain jo isko unclean bina dete hain aur iski kya importance hai saaf sutre pani ki, we will discuss in lecture number 8 and the uh, page that we will read is page number 47. Then we will move forward towards lecture number 9. In lecture number 9, the students will be able to explore a few ways that can help make clean and 
suitable drinking water like water filtration and boiling hum kuch ways suggest just suggest karenge lecture 9 mein jisse pani ko saaf kiya jata hai jisse hum ghar pe pani ko saaf kar sakte hain jaise ki boiling or filtration jaise methods so the page that will be red is page number 48 then in lecture number 10 we will make a project and we can make a, a filtration plant at home with plastic bottles reusable stuff ko use karke this will be a fun project and then the last lecture lecture number 11 is the chapter review and in this um, lecture we will revise the full chapter and i will give you an assessment sheet to evaluate you i hope you will learn a lot of things from this chapter until then keep everybody around you safe have a good day thank you so much and allah hafiz